All right, just play it cool. She's totally into you. Just gotta be relaxed. Be smooth, just keep talking and smile. All right, she seems interested. Man, and she's funny. And, oh God, I like this girl. But it's so hard to stay interested. I really needed that nap earlier. All right, you can do this. Just keep your eyes open. Try and stay awake. Now this mountain I must climb Feels like the world upon my shoulder Huh? <laughs> say that I screwed up, but I can take that nap now, so... is Timmy. Timmy is popular. He wrestles for Stanford University and has a lot of friends. As you can see, Timmy is having the time of his life and stays up all night having fun with his buddies. But wait, what is this? Timmy is out of it. Hello, Space Cadet. Why is Timmy like this, you ask? Well, this is why. He is tired. As we can see, Timmy has a tendency to stay up late every night. As a wrestler, Timmy also has to wake up early every morning for class and practice, meaning the longer he stays up, the less sleep he gets. What Timmy doesn't know is that this staying up business can lead to something terrible. In the sleep world, we like to call this sleep debt. Sleep debt is the accumulation of lost sleep. Our bodies are supposed to get X amount of sleep every day. And when that number is less than that X amount, we start accumulating a sleep debt. The more sleep debt we have, the more tired we are on a daily basis. Sometimes it gets to the point that if our sleep debt is huge, it affects the things that we do every day. Here, we notice that Timmy is affected by his large sleep debt. His late nights have accumulated so much that it's hard for him to function throughout the day. He is groggy, slow, and has trouble focusing on his studies. Some might even characterize him as a zombie. Another side effect of sleep debt is drowsiness and the tendency to fall asleep really quickly. Silly, silly Timmy. Oh, Timmy. Drowsiness is red alert. Drowsiness is a telltale sign that you have a large sleep debt. If your eyes are drooping, you find yourself droning out, and it's become hard to keep your eyes open, you're about to fall asleep. To warn yourself that you're about to fall asleep before you pass out in embarrassing or even dangerous situations, remember, drowsiness is red alert. Repeat this mantra and you will thank yourself in the long run. If not, you'll end up like Timmy here, always falling asleep in the most unfortunate situations. With people with large sleep debts, any place can become a potential sleep area. This may seem funny at first, but when put into perspective, literally any place becomes a potential sleep area, including the driver's seat of a car on the highway. People with large sleep debts should seriously take into account their drowsiness can become their demise. Because 
This looks like a good idea. What can Timmy do to lower his sleep debt? Well, Timmy can find out how much sleep is good for him, get that amount every week, get extra sleep on the weekends, and practice good sleep hygiene. If Timmy manages to do everything on that list, Timmy will have no sleep debt, and Timmy will be happy. I know. Talk to each other now. That's not talking yet. Nothing you do. I'm <laughs> gonna